Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. The Microsoft Edge web browser for desktop has received a version upgrade, which is the first three-digit version now available for the Edge browser version 100, which started rolling out on the 1st of April 2022. And now this also puts Edge in line with Google Chrome, which was also upgraded to version 100 earlier this week. Now with version 100, although it is a major upgrade, there's not too much to actually visually show you uh, with this latest release um, as a lot of the changes and features and upgrades are taking place under the hood so to speak but I will mention and highlight some of the key changes for you in this video and then over and above the uh, key changes there's also those all important security fixes which roll out with every upgrade to the browser. Now after the browser has been updated the first thing you will see now um, is this new tab page which I just took a screenshot of when my browser updated which says copy and paste made simpler easily copy content from the web using web select including format content like tables pictures and headings which is an upgrade uh, to the web select feature uh, in version 100 and then over and above this you'll also see some other key, uh, key highlights that are available in the edge browser but just to demonstrate uh, the web select copy and paste feature if we just head back to the browser and as an example I head over to Wikipedia and I right click and in the context menu I click on web select and when I drag that over and select that table as an example um, if I click on copy um, it's uh, according to uh, uh, Microsoft in the release notes uh, the copy and paste has um, got a lot easier now with the web picker in version 100 and once I've copied that I can just cop uh, paste that into a document as an example and um, Microsoft says with the web selection uh, those screenshots um, that you have uh, copied using the uh, web select feature um, can also be commented on now if you are using pen and touch support if you have access to pen and touch support so that's a nice upgrade to the web selection in version 100 and then uh, PDF files um, can now be previewed as read only in File Explorer or Outlook and the digitally signed PDF files can now also be opened directly in the Edge browser and Microsoft goes on to say that you can also use the PDF secure mode policy to enable digital signature validation for PDF files uh, in the Edge browser with no add-ins required. So that's another upgrade uh, to the PDF support in version 100. And then just to mention another update, uh, Microsoft 365 application log activations on, tr on trusted Microsoft Cloud Storage Services now launch certain Microsoft 365 applications directly, including SharePoint subdomains and Microsoft OneDrive URLs. And now there's also been a security upgrade to the browser, uh, to the stack protection, uh, where Microsoft uh, uh, says that uh, the browser continues to support more granular protection by addressing memory corruption vulnerabilities and by protecting against indirect calls. So that's a security upgrade to the browser. And this hardware enforced stack protection, uh, Microsoft says, is only supported on Windows 8 and later. So just be aware of that if you are using the Edge browser in those other versions of the Windows operating system. And then there's also been some new policies that have been added and one of the older policies has been uh, removed. Now if we just head over to the security update guard uh, which rolled out for this latest release to the Edge browser there are 22 security fixes uh, that fix 22 vulnerabilities in version 100 of the Edge browser and if we just scroll down here uh, we can see that four of those are regarded as important and our elevation of privilege so out of the 22 fixes four of those are important and uh, they are elevation of privilege and just to recap basically whatever elevation of privilege is um, it's when an attacker uh, can authorize permissions beyond those that they were initially granted and as an example an attacker with a privileged set of read-only permissions can elevate the set to include read and write. So that's what the elevation of privilege exploit is. And that has been addressed. Those uh, four important uh, uh, vulnerabilities have been addressed. And um, so out of the 22, there are four important 
um, uh, security vulnerabilities that have been addressed. So even if you're not in, um, interested in new features, um, it's important to check your browser is up to date, especially when you're dealing with 22 security vulnerabilities. And as always, to check if the browser is up to date, we just head to the menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And if you do use the browser on a regular basis, the Edge browser for desktop will be upgraded in the background. And the latest version now is version 100.0.1185.29. Now, while we are sitting at version 100, which, as mentioned, is the first three-digit um, uh, release to the browser, as mentioned in the Google Chrome web browser, um, uh, it has been reported that version 100 because it is the first three-digit version can cause or could cause problems on some older websites as i have reported in previous videos and um, that's because some sites might read it as version 10 instead of version 100. now i must be honest um, i've experienced no problems in the edge browser on any um, websites that i've been using uh, in preview versions of 100 or even testing some of those with the update to the browser which rolled out uh, yesterday in my region of the world. But if you are having problems, there is a flag that is available um, uh, uh, until Microsoft rolls out a fix. If you are experiencing problems with version 100, um, that will freeze the major version to 99 in the user agent string. And the user agent string is this here that you see which websites read to identify the browser and um, this you can uh, change and freeze it at version 99 by using a flag and just to demonstrate that you can just head up to your address bar and enter edge colon forward slash forward slash flags and uh, in the uh, search all you uh, need to enter there is force major and that's enough to bring up the flag and that's put major version in minor version position in user agent, which says lock the Microsoft Edge major major version in the user agent string to 99 and force the major version number to the minor version position. And this flag, as mentioned, is a backup plan for unexpected site compatibility breakage with a three-digit major version, as mentioned. And that's available for Mac, Windows, Linux, and Android. And you can just change the default setting to enabled and you can just restart the browser to apply that flag and that should hopefully sort out any issues if you are experiencing uh, problems with the version 100 upgrade so that's more or less what's new in version 100 of the edge browser which is now uh, reached a century with that first three digit upgrade to the browser so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one